Hello, all of my amazing women of Tracy's Total Wellness. I am excited to be here today on our Unapologetic Woman Hour to have, as I'm going to call it, an unapologetic badass conversation today with Arizu. We are going to talk about what is going on with the feminine energy rising, as well as she's going to share some of her gifts and wisdom around building a spiritually awakened business and what it is to do that. Today though is a perfect opportunity for all of you that are out there is to find that space to get quiet, to listen in and see what resonates with you with our conversation today. As always, this is an unapologetic conversation. So we're going to see where it goes and your participation in it is really helpful. So comment or share this post with friends if you think that this could be exactly what they need to hear around living unapologetically. Now, without further ado, we don't have to say much more. I just said spiritually awakened badass business. So Arezu, if you wouldn't mind just sharing with me and my community a little bit about yourself, who you serve and why you do that, the work that you do. Well, I serve. I, like I said to Tracy, I serve the badass, heart-centered, spiritually awake. And the way I came to, to be, to do that is because I realized that was me. And that's a lot of the work that I do, the healing work that I do is to impart the knowledge that I wish I had. That's what I think a healer really does is that we share the knowledge that we wish that we knew. Uh, when we were starting out, I didn't know any of this stuff that I know now. So I, I learned really, really the hard way through um, a lot of trial and error, lots of different Frankenstein courses, getting my ass handed to me, spinning my wheels, go, you know, just like the nauseous roller coaster ride. And then I realized that this is really, really valuable knowledge to have and to condense and share. So to make other people's journey less cumbersome and arduous and to help you get to where you want to go faster so you can make money faster so you, you don't have to sacrifice your lifestyle or your mental health oh yeah i mean for for we've been in this paradigm that has been all about the masculine that has been about the doing and the grinding and the hustling and the chasing and yeah both know oh yeah <laughs> And it's so outdated and so outmoded. And I was in the legal field. I was a lawyer for a long time and I was mask. I was modeling this masculine energy. I just didn't know any better. I was, I was doing what I saw other people doing. I, I didn't know that there was a better way. And at some point, I think it was a month before uh, 9 11, I had a spiritual awakening where even though I was making all this money, Tracy, I had all the, on trappings of success what society would call success but I wasn't happy mm. it was like there's got to be more to life than this and then that's when I really started my journey into personal growth and development and trying to figure out who I was and then I went into coaching and then I could make all the I had all the fulfillment and the purpose and the lifestyle and the freedom. And then I was like, how do you make money? Like I was struggling to make money. So my, my mission became how to, how do you make money being yourself unapologetically yourself? That was my goal. That was my entire goal. It's like, why does it have to be so hard? You know, why can't we just be ourselves and live a, live our lives the life that we were born to live and monetize our genius. And so that's a lot of what I bring to the table is teaching my, I guess, students or clients, you'd call them, how to meld material success with, without sacrificing with the attainment of inner peace. Mm. I love what you just said about the question you, you had for yourself is how how can I make money or how can I do, be myself, do what I love and literally like survive and thrive in this world. And what 
it's interesting you said that because what I found is there then becomes like that balance of the masculine and feminine energy, right? It's, I found so many of us that have felt imprisoned in the masculine energy container kind of threw it all away and then went just fully immersed in feminine energy and kind of lost that container. And for me, that experience of realizing they're both integral, but they're both important with that, you know, the ebb and flow of them both working cohesively together. It's not an either or uh, situation. And with full self-expression in a safe container, we, we do, right? For me, at least, that's when I feel like I'm in the groove or I'm manifesting or, you know, the law of attraction is actually happening because there's that, that harmony between masculine and feminine. And, and I'd love your input on this is I think for so long, we got kind of confined in a structure and it was heavy masculine energy that became toxic in ways mm -hmm. that people didn't know that there was a formula to be who you are and get what you want. They thought it was either you do what you're told to do and get, get what you, you think you want or what other people tell you. It's almost like we somehow live our lives in what other people have told us we should amount to. We should like, we should experience and we just get showered with so many shoulds that when we finally quote unquote find ourselves we're like well what world does this live in it's like it's almost an ecosystem we can't live in if we stay in that you know that toxic masculine energy yeah we're, we're shitting all over ourselves you know <laughs> that, and that's why i think it's so important to have mentors yes i mean i I will not live without my mentors. They're worth their weight in gold. They create the structure. They've already done it. You know, why the fuck do we have to reinvent the wheel? Like it is, it's not useful. It's not necessary, especially when women have gone before us and they're so brilliant and they're sharing their knowledge and their downloads with us. And so what I have found is getting more and more in touch with our intuition, our intuitive self, and sur surrounding ourselves with a community of women that can really support us who are on the same journey is really, really, it's non-negotiable. You know, you were not meant to do this alone. It's really counterproductive to do it alone. It's unnatural. Why? Yeah, it's I and I even think too in the society that we live in in the country we live in because it's this um, this mindset of like the, the capitalism and the get to the top. Uh, being at the top all alone is lonely. Like <laughs> when yeah. we, we work together and, and we create things, I find at least um, for me, like the cure for loneliness is going to do something nice for another person. Like realizing that my life impacts other people and it's not just about me, me, me. It's we, we continue to then recycle. Like the energy is just not poof created out of nowhere. It's, mm -hmm. it's continually moving through us all. And I like what you said about, you know, the women that came before us, this could be our ancestors or the women in our, the field that we're in the work that we do. It's, utilizing all the gratitude we can have for where they've what they had to go through and what where they've come to and they'd be like mm -hmm. okay it's almost like the baton has been passed to us in the relay race and we're, we're continuing uh, that growth that's what i'm sensing the work that you do or, or where you see this evolution happening yes there's been um a shift in evolution happening since the when we the start of the internet where we all wanted to be connected to each other. I think that's yeah. the paradigm shifts and it takes about 50 years for the paradigm to shift and it's going to happen. It's happening. So we're, we're going into this feminine paradigm where it's about connection and collaboration and communication and all the stuff we bring to the table, which ironically is not taught in school, which is mm -hmm. crazy, but <laughs> 
you mentioned a couple of things, so I want to touch on that. One is this sense of loneliness of wanting, thinking that when I have that thing, I'll be happy. When I have that relationship, when I have that money, when I have that, instead of really coming back to our whole, own wholeness, to remember that we are whole, that we don't need anything outside of ourselves to succeed, A. And then B, you also talked about the generational uh, the importance of the ancestors, that cuts both ways. There's stuff um, that we might need to clear and cut with ancestors. Uh, maybe it's slavery, maybe it's unworthiness, all those things. And then there's also stuff from our ancestors that they have, they have so much to share with us if we're able to really uh, connect with them and ask for guidance from them. I love that. It's that, that wisdom. Yes. wisdom that's in us. I love that. And I think this is going to blend wonderfully together, but probably everybody is just as curious as I am. Like what brought you into putting badass in the forefront of the work that you do? Like what's that word mean to you and how has it served you and the, the clients that you, that you work with? I define it as somebody who's committed, coachable, resourceful, you know, really wants it, wants to succeed in life and is not going to be a dabbler. My time has become so precious and valuable these days, Tracy, that I really value my time. I've really learned how to set boundaries to contain my energy so that I'm not leaking energy, so that I'm attracting the right people uh, to want to work with me. These are my soulmate clients. You know, and they kind of get it. They're like badass. Yeah, I, I own being a badass. And I'm un, unapologetic about wanting it all. And I am not afraid to do the work because that's me. It took me years to really realize that your ideal clients are really people that you'd want to hang out with. Like it's a relationship. Yep. Dating, you know. <laughs> Like, these are the people I want to hang out with and share my wisdom with. Yeah, I mean, that, that's one of the reasons I love facilitating the events I do, because sometimes we'll just hang out afterwards, whether it's virtual or in person. And it's, it's, it's like we're just a group of friends mm -hmm. in and of itself. We're, we're getting to know each other on a deeper level. Yes, and we're doing this deeper work, but we're, we're enjoying each other's presence. And I love that you said valuing time because for so many people, they're either constrained by time or they're overwhelmed by time. It's like, I got to do all these things, right? They're living in the land of should, or they're living in this like land of worry. Mm. And I had, um, speaking of mentors, one of my business coaches really empower me because I think what you said is important. We all need our mentors. If we're gonna be supporting people, we need people to support us, but also to think we can figure it all out on our own is very egotistical to begin with. Uh, <laughs> and it, it's a great to have other people as a compass or as a sounding board. But she said to me, she's like, you, you need to realize that your calendar, your business, all of that stuff works for you. You don't work for it. And it was a huge transformational place with me and my work that I do. It's like, no, my, my schedule doesn't control me. I can control my schedule. Yeah. My business doesn't control me. I control my business. And mm -hmm. to take that really empowered leadership in the work that mm -hmm. I do. And it sounds mm -hmm. like that's something that you do with with women in particular so i would love for you to share like how do people work with you or what are the ways that you support your clients right now in the business that you have yeah and and i'll also kind of um add to what you're saying is that it's really about either either you relate to someone you see them you see yourself in them there's something you like about them it's connection it's it's chemistry or there's something about them that you see that is maybe dormant in yourself. Mm. Or maybe you know the badassery, you know? Yeah, maybe, I like that. So, um, 
so the way I work with my clients is I either offer privates or a group coaching program. And my work is holistic. So it's, it runs the full gamut of the masculine to the, to the feminine. It goes from branding, like people who are either starting a business or pivoting or they're re-envisioning, they're merging with another business and they want to get clarity before they do their website. And then there goes into the business building aspect of really authentically positioning, attracting, enrolling your ideal clients. Mm-hmm. So it goes into business strategy and then it goes into mindset and really understanding, owning what you bring to the table, um, having the clarity and confidence that you can have what you want, the money mindset that comes up. And then, then from there, there is the intuitive healing aspect of it because I am psychic. I am intuitive. So I can clear out what's really blocking them energetically. And then also, and, and clear any intergenerational trauma and drama. <laughs> and, um, and then accountability. You know, sometimes you know exactly what you're meant to do, you're supposed to do, but without the accountability and the skin in the game, you're, not, you're maybe not going to build those muscles to create the momentum to get to the next level results. Yeah. So that's what I offer. It's the whole kind of holistic business coaching. It's the whole gamut. And, you know, some people um, come in thinking they need one thing and then they realize, oh, no, this is the thing that I really, really need. So it's a question of, of those things, which area do you think that if you focused on, gave the most focus on, would, would give you the yield, the most results, yield the most impact? I love that. Yeah. So we start there. Um, so yeah, it's a whole method methodology. I've created it out of 20 years of basically it's like being in the lab and creating this methodology to help women rise up faster without sacrificing our lifestyles or our mental health, because that's important to us. We naturally think holistically. Yes. We think, you know, we want it all. We don't want to sacrifice the marriage and the children i mean if you if you don't want to get married you don't want to have kids that's totally cool too but this should be a choice not an either or you know mental we shouldn't have to give up our mental health to make money money to make you know no No, we we shouldn't we shouldn't give up that's um i love that you say that because that's something that came up for me when i started my business it was like oh well i can have thriving fulfilling relationships and a great social life or i can be a business owner and I struggled in that for a while, years and years ago, until I got a mentor and um, she helped me to realize, no, it's a yes and more. If you are your business, Mm -hmm. then that means you get to thrive everywhere. Like Mm -hmm. you bring you wherever you go, whether you're a business owner or not, you bring you wherever you go. Mm -hmm. And if you want to highlight your business, you as a business owner, then it's also vitally important that you give yourself permission to enjoy relationships, enjoy your vacations and downtime and rest. You get to enjoy it all. And it's why I put what I call thrive as a part of business, you know, adding up all the other things like what you talked about, you know, creating a brand, marketing, sales goals, all the technicals that go in. It's like, no, thrive is just as important. Yeah, rest it makes you more productive. This is all the feminine stuff, pleasure, mm-hmm. play, creativity, you know, joy. Um, you know, how do you infuse that more and more so that it becomes an authentic expression of you rather than a chokehold? Yes. It's a business there to support you, uh, you know, I, and w- whatever is going on in, in, in the business is, is going to have a ripple effect. Whatever you f- you basically address in your business, if it's confidence, it's going to happen and it's going to have a ripple effect in other areas of your life and vice versa. That's why uh, you can't really disconnect. It has to be looked at holistically because that's really it, it is like in nature and everything in nature is interconnected and interdependent. We are part of nature. Yeah, we are interconnected interconnected. and and the birds right there are affirming everything you're saying (laughs) 
I love it. <laughs> it's uh, actually thunderstorming where I am and it's sunny and the birds are chirping where you are. So it's just a perfect example of all of the all of the expressions of mother nature are on this conversation with us right now. Yeah, exactly. It's again, yeah, I do a lot of my talk. Uh, I do a lot of my actually uh, enrollment talks here because I feel really comfortable and, and calm. And so it's calming for me. So it'll be calming for other people. Um, but again, a lot of my work is going back to nature and the feminine and going back to our nature to thrive. Love that. So I'd love for you to just share um, your business and then the way that it's best for people to contact you if people are really vibing with what you're talking about today. Sure, um, my name is Ari Zou Cohen and my website is A-R-E-Z-O-U-K-O-H-A-N.com. Check it out, see if it resonates with you. And if it does, if it speaks to you, go ahead and book a complimentary breakthrough session and we'll get on the phone and we'll talk about where you are, what you want, what's in the way, and if I can help you get to where you want to go faster, we can talk about that. There's no charge. And if you enroll in my programs or privates between now and, was it Friday the 19th? Yes, for those of us that are here in the live version of this recording, yeah. So by Friday, June 19th, uh, if you enroll, you have something special for everyone? Yeah, you'll get a complimentary additional private with me. And this is worth about $1,500 these days. Mm. Where and deeply into whatever's going on for you and you have one-on-one -on -one time with me and we just break through whatever's happening. And it's a quantum leap up into your potential. And I would love to share that with you. That's amazing. So they just need to sign up before the 19th? Get on the call with me okay. before the 19th. Get on the call with you, great. So everybody out there, connect with her, whether you're listening to this live or to the recording, it, it's a great opportunity to have a conversation with someone that, that I vibe with, with unapologetically expressing themselves. It is an opportunity for all of us, um, as you just put it, to create that, you know, that quantum shift. We're in this, this leveling up of energy and um, it's time. Let's get on the ride, everyone. It's it's a great, thrilling ride to be on, uh, being femininely expressed and unapologetically living. And I love to end all my conversations with asking you, what is it for you to be uh, unapologetic? To be able to have this uh, talk with you in the park with the birds in the background, to be myself and to wear what I want and to live life fully and freely on my own terms, doing what I love and being of service, I couldn't ask for anything more. Mm. Living my, I'm living my dream and, and that's as it should be. Mm. Well, here's to our dreams, um, just creating the sparkle and bliss effect on everyone that we come encounter with. And, Thank you, Arizu, for having this conversation with me today. It's been an honor to connect, and I can't wait to hear from all of the others that are here. Don't forget, everyone, share this conversation with someone that wants to maybe feel inspired to be more of a badass, unapologetic woman. And if you are feeling called, she has a fantastic offer. Please feel free to check her out. We'll have the information for you so you can go on and um, check Arizu out. And go forward and be your unapologetic self, all my beautiful women. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you. Bye-bye.